Hi everyone, welcome to story time. Do I look a little bit funny today? I wore my antlers to work because I'm getting very excited about Christmas and I wanted to do a story time with you about one of Santa's very best helpers. Can you figure out who that is? That's right, it's Rudolph. And my antlers have little jingle bells on them so they make a nice little sound. Well, today I'm going to do a little bit of a different story time. I'm going to do a draw and tell story. So all you have to do is listen and look at the picture that I'm going to draw you. And this story is called Trouble at the North Pole. And it starts like this. It was Christmas Eve and all of Santa's toys were ready to be packed up in the sleigh. They were in big piles like this. One big pile here, and another big pile here because there were so many toys. And then the elves came and put all the toys in a big bag like this. But then the bag was so heavy, they couldn't pack it all the way to Santa's sleigh. So they had to get some help. And Mrs. Claus and Santa came along and they each grabbed a corner of the bag like this, one over here and one over there. But goodness, the bag was still so heavy, they could barely move it. So they worked really hard and they started to go and they were pulling it and pushing it. And then it started to snow and it snowed like crazy. It was snowing so hard that they couldn't even see where they were going. And they kept taking the wrong path and getting lost. They were having a very hard time finding Santa's sleigh. And this is what their tracks looked like. They went everywhere, here and there and over here, up and down until finally they came to Santa's sleigh and they quickly threw that big bag of toys right in the sleigh and Santa hopped up and buckled up his seatbelt and Mrs. Claus came over and gave Santa a great big kiss right here and she said good luck Santa I'll see you in the morning Santa said, Merry Christmas. And he and his team took off in the night, flying all over the world, delivering toys to boys and girls everywhere. And do you know who helped him lead his team? Can you tell from the picture? That's right. It's good old Rudolph. He's always there to help Santa when Santa needs a hand. And I have another little story and song about Rudolph for you guys today. And some of you might know it. And if you do, you can help me out. Okay? So who is that guy? It's Rudolph, isn't it? But there's something missing. What could it be? Let's find out. Rudolph, Rudolph. What will you do? You can't guide Santa's sleigh if your nose is blue. That doesn't look right, does it? Rudolph, Rudolph, Santa gave a wink. What will he think if your nose is, can you see what color that is? Pink. I don't think Rudolph has a pink nose. Rudolph, Rudolph, your way cannot be seen through this wintry weather if your nose is green. Oh no, that definitely doesn't look very good. Rudolph, Rudolph, you're such a silly fellow. Who will know it's you if your nose is yellow? I've never seen Rudolph with a yellow nose. Rudolph, Rudolph, 
how will you get back? You can't see in the dark if your nose is black. Rudolph, Rudolph, it's time to go to town. But it's time to fly at night, but you're quite a sight because your nose is white. That's not going to work very good, is it? What color should his nose be? Do you guys know? Rudolph, Rudolph, the children are in bed. And I know you're ready because your nose is red. There we go. Now that looks like Rudolph. And he's ready to help Santa on his big night. And for your craft today, I have a fun little thing. You're all going to get the Rudolph Rudolph song. And right here is some sandpaper so that you guys can stick your noses on. And you're going to have a little bag with all the colors. And you can sing the little Rudolph song and stick the different colors on. And it'll be a fun little game for you guys to have. Okay? Well, that was great fun. And it was a little bit different, wasn't it? So we have one more story time next week before the Christmas holidays, and we'll be doing some more Christmas songs and Christmas stories. So I'll see you then, okay? Thanks for sitting. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming here today. Now that story time is over, hope you have a lovely day. See you soon.